When King Ahab died, Ahaziah, his son, became king of Israel. Shortly after that, he broke through a wooden rail and fell two stories to the, to the ground below. He was immediately taken to his sick bed. And he was concerned, and so he called for a servant and said, Go! Ask Belzebub if I'm going to survive this fall. Well, as the servant was going, Elijah stopped him and said, There's a God in Israel. Why are you going to ask Belzebub about the king's health? Go back and tell the king, Thus saith the Lord. You will not survive this fall. You will not leave your sickbed. Instead, you will die there. The servant went back and told the king. Isaiah said, What did he look like? Oh, oh well, he, he, had, he was all hairy, and he had a leather belt around his waist. Oh, I know who that is. That's Elijah. So the king sent 50 of his soldiers to go get Elijah and bring him back. When they got to where he stayed, Elijah was sitting at the top of an embankment. The captain of the soldiers said, Man of God! Come down here. I have orders to take you to the king. Elijah said, If I am the man of God, then fire will come out of heaven and kill you and all your men. <laughs> Instantly, fire fell from the sky, killed all 50 men. So Ahaziah sent 50 more men to go get Elijah. Again, they got to where he was staying, and he was sitting up at top of an embankment. Captain of the 50 said, Man of God, come down here. I have orders to take you to the king. Elijah said, If I am the man of God, then fire will come from heaven and kill you and your men. Instantly, fire fell from the sky, killed all 50 men. Well, King Isaiah sent 50 more men to go get the prophet. This time, the captain of the 50 went up and knelt down before the prophet and said, Oh, man of God, have mercy upon me and these 50 of your servants. Spare our lives. Angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go with these men and you'll be safe. So Elijah went with him. When he got to the king, he said, Hear what God says to you. If you would have asked me, I would have answered any of your questions. But instead, you went to Beelzebub and asked him, Therefore, you will not leave your sickbed, but you will die there. Sure enough, shortly after that, the king died. He, he didn't have any children, so the royal throne went to his brother, Joram. <laughs>